Good morning, everyone. It's Clint. I'm back by popular demand. <laughs> not really. Uh, she all woke up not feeling very good. And yesterday, we had talked about me finishing the belly bends that I made. And then she said, well, why, since you're doing that, why don't you go and... I didn't say it like that. And, uh... You might as well sew it on the paper and then do this and do that. And I was thinking, all I want to do is finish my belly bands, but that's okay. That's we know online. we know how she is. So okay, I've got several things here. Um, I got sorry, my quills. Uh, I got our belly bands. Um, Shell glued this one uh, for me so I can sew it. Um, this is going to be one of them, and this is for the 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 squares I made. So, first of all, uh, I am so, she's driving me nuts. She was cutting stuff <laughs> without getting an edge or making them straight. I'm not kidding you, she was driving me bonkers. But, I'm sure she's going to say I was driving her bonkers too. Yep. Um, what this is, is, you know, I don't know, it may be hemp. I don't have the foggiest idea. Uh, it's, it comes when you buy that Grove, products from the Grove, they're like healthy cleaners and crap like that. Organic. Uh, but I really like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not in frame. It's hard for me sometimes to stay in frame. Uh, but the one thing I did, I had remember we had it, and when I was thinking about doing this belly band, I instantly wanted to do this one. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh... Right here, this is my basting glue. I don't pin anymore when I do fabric. I just use this. It makes life a lot easier. So, uh, I put me a little pencil dot right here. And that was should be about the center of my thing. Of my belly band. Like I said, I was going nuts when she was, she was doing all this stuff. And wasn't straightening anything up. It was like, oh driving me nuts but then she says honey you're driving me nuts by saying i'm driving you nuts so you know how it is um well, it doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to be perfect keep telling her yes it does uh the nice thing about this this grove thing is it actually is center has a v in it so i was actually able to uh, like I said, I lined, I put a dot where about where center is on my thing. I'm put this about right there. And I put a few dots, and then I put one about right there. And my hair is a mess, and I don't care. It's Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. It has been so hot here. It's been really. Um, well, for us, it's hot. I know probably other places it's not, but uh, been really miserable. So, yeah, it supposed to be about 90 today. It was, I think it got up to around 93 yesterday or something. Um, the, these are the squares, like I said, I had made earlier when I was actually cutting everything, sewing everything for the belly band. So, I had decided... See, and that's what I liked about this is I can line my things up just like that in the center. Hot dog. And they'll be good to go. So, perfect. yeah, I want it to be perfect. That's <laughs> just the way I am, and it's not going to change. I think, I, and I truly love doing, um, when I quit, I love the piecing part. To me, there's so much fun to do that. And so, I cut this whatever you call it, lace or whatever that is. I cut it a little bit uh, longer, that way she could cut it off. I wanted to make sure I had enough room for my for my uh, squares. So that's the way it's gonna look. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a dot of my basting glue right in the center of that. I'll just wipe that on my shorts, no one's gonna this is actually um, dissolves in water. It's so that makes it nice. So I'm gonna make sure I get it right, line it up. I do have a link for that below too. 
yeah, she's got a link. I'm sorry. I don't think to tell you all this stuff. Um, the initial thought was to not have this part was to have just the uh, hemp thing. Uh, but when I got to thinking about it last night, and I was thinking, well, that won't work because your flaps are going to be fly flapping in the breeze, and I didn't want that. Um, so what I did is... I thought, well, I need a lace, and I, I looked and looked on her laces to try to figure out about where, I probably, actually, can I have your, uh, I'm actually going to do her art, what is it, art glitter glue, yeah. and the reason being is this is supposed to be permanent, I'm only going to sew one seam right here, and that's right down the middle, so, let me, I probably put too much, didn't I? Oh, well. Sorry about that. So, I'm going to do it one square at a time. That way I can make sure I can get it all put down. I just don't want it to, like I say, flapping in the breeze. So, I think that will make it look better, too. Make it tied in. I wanted, when I was doing this, I really wanted to tie it in. And just, you know, make it... Um, I think I did screw up though because I can tell you right now that's not in the center. Oh dear. Oh dear is right, but because I'm closer to this one than that one, so I didn't even stop to look at that. Um, that's all right. It, it, I know it doesn't have to be perfect. I know blah 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 blah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use uh, the blue. I have, I don't know if you would call it baby blue or something. Uh, but I wanted to get all this stuff glued first before I started sewing it. I really... Well, my basting glue is kind of hard to get out of there. It might be a tad too far. So, I was excited when I did these to begin with. I hadn't thought about finishing them. I figured Shell was going to do that part of it. and But... And then I asked her, honey, you mind if I finish my belly bands? I kind of would like to. I didn't know about, didn't think about doing it on video, so. <laughs> I think it's going to look really pretty when it's all said and done. And I went, I spent a lot of time, um, truthfully, <laughs> picking out everything. I'm kind of, uh, shall say. Yeah, it was like three hours. Oh, it wasn't that long. Yeah, it was. She's telling you a fib. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, it didn't feel like three hours. How's that? Well, you did part of it last night. Yeah, I did part of it last night. I found this this morning. And then it... You know, I looked through her ribbon. And I couldn't find squat. And... You know, and that's why I need more ribbon. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she does. Maybe I need to be a less... Uh, Whatever you, yeah, less selective, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and that's one reason why I am doing it this way is because I want to make sure I have two up and two down. That way it evens everything out. Um, that's just the way I am. I think it's going to look really nice when it's done, though. I'm excited about it. Okay, I was thinking, I was wondering if I put any glue there. know this art glitter glue is supposed to dry uh, clear so that's good I sometimes I but we had a good Saturday um, uh, I got all the I got 11 blenders carved and um, I didn't sand them I knew I, I was hurting pretty good so I thought I wanted to kind of break it up and do it in pieces so today I'm doing this and then I'm going to start sanding so I can get those done yeah we should be mailing things probably next Saturday so yeah I'm gonna some of you will be receiving a uh, email telling you it's done yeah 
I apologize for taking too long, but with the work as busy it has been, and it's just been, a, yeah, and been so sick. I'm, I am feeling some better. I been wearing my quail constantly, so there's your bratty cubby. <laughs> Who was that? Someone said, "What did she say?" Cat. What did she say? Give Cuddy Cubby some cuddles. That was it. Give Cubby some cuddles. He's my favorite. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. He's the cutest of them all. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, but no one's cuter than Pard or Sophia. Sophia's adorable. But Cubby has a good personality. Cubby's a... all that matters. Yeah, Cubby Dean. You can't do that. That cat drives me dippy. I'm serious. I love him, but man, he drives me nuts sometimes. Lay with Mama. Lay down pards on the floor. I don't know if I ever told you why I call Pard Pard. Uh, his name's Biddy Bear. His name's actually Biddy Bear. He, I've told you how much he means to me. He's my baby. Uh, my dad and I were really, really close. He actually, when mom and dad got divorced, I, uh, dad and I moved to Kansas, which, no offense, my mom and dad were uh, from that part of the country but I was a mountain boy and I had a was not uh, ready for flat prairies but anyway dad dad always called me part always and he called it's partner it's partner short of course but um, I was dad's buddy from when I was a little kid me and dad were inseparable you know I was I'm the youngest I have one brother and a stepsister I've never met. Um, but Dad always called me part, always. So anyone he truly Yeah, anyone loved. he truly and deeply loved he would call part. Um he actually called Shell Part. He took him a while. Yeah, it took him a <laughs> while. He was afraid that she might have turned out a different way. A, and uh but she like someone who knows. yeah like someone we know that you know not the nicest person truthfully um uh, he always but he did call shell part a couple times he did just fell in love and it was funny he would always if we were coming for a visit he would say bring your scissors so he could do her hair she could do his hair and poor thing, you know, he, yeah, he just adored Shell. So, um, I'm he's, a cosmetology by trade. Yeah, so he's, it. he's gone now. He died. It's been quite a few years now. It's, oh, it's been longer. It's more like 15 years, 14 what? or 15 years. Wow. Yeah. Cause I was just sick. I was only sick for a year oh, or so. Man, we were, and it's yeah. been f about 15 since I've been Christian sick. 16. Two. Yeah. So. 15 years. I miss, yeah, dad was, he was a good dad, I, uh, yeah, I miss that I'm old just like him. I am just like him, I think that helped me deal with his loss a little bit more, um, because, uh, we are so much alike, it, it's just amazing. They're both super ornery. Yeah, ornery, but, you know, we also, truthfully, were, we look pretty much, I meant, yeah. we, we, same height, we wore the same we both wore Malkasons and all that, you know, and same size jeans. Same size jeans, everything for the most part. It was, and my niece. We went back to see when we two years ago when we got mom to visit for the winter. Oh, I guess uh, Rochelle, our niece, she said, "Oh my God, he looks just like Grandpa." Grandpa, and <laughs> I think that's helped me deal with Dad's. Uh, Losing dad a lot easier because I do look so much like him and in the mirror and I see his face all the time. So, uh, but yeah, I miss that old fart. He actually, uh, hold on, I'm getting a paper towel for this glue. Nothing, I got it, baby. We actually worked together most of our lives. Uh, uh, when we went to Kansas, he was, dad was an aircraft mechanic originally in the Air Force. And when we moved to Kansas, he became, he was a maintenance person at 
Strathers Field between Winfield and Ark City, Kansas. So uh, I worked, mowed the grass in the summertime for the airport and everything. And uh, we actually worked um, when Dad, when we moved back to Colorado, one day said, Dad said, uh, Par, do you want to go back to Colorado? And I, I did immediately. I, like I said, I, this is, I'm a native and I missed Colorado so much. So we ended up moving back and he was a maintenance man at the, uh, I don't even know if it's still there, but it's, he was in, a maintenance person at another airport. And then he went to work for Fort Collins, chrome, a chrome plating place. I don't even know if it's still there, truthfully, but it was, uh, uh, he worked there for quite a while. And I worked there in the summertime to, to help out. So, um, yeah. And how we got into locating is Dad and I, Dad took a job, and I didn't. I didn't go but he broke his rib so he came back and rested for just a, a couple weeks since and he asked me if I wanted to go with him and I said yeah and what we were doing is taking a depth survey on two high pressure pipelines we walked from south of Denver to a small town called Border Texas it's in the panhandle so we walked to te through, you know, through Oklahoma into Texas, and, and it was a just an amazing job. It was so much fun. Uh, it, it just it was amazing. We walked through um, Lamar, Colorado, and Lahana in the middle of summer, and it's hot down in that part of the state. It's it's sickening. It's so hot. And um, there was a Mennonite group, and I, I believe they're still there, but there weren't as, as similar. It wasn't the Mennonites themselves but, um, in that group. And we walking out in the middle of nowhere through canyons and, and came up on this beautiful stone house. I mean, solid stone. Had a, The walls were two foot thick. And it was just incredible, but it was abandoned. There were cows in it. It was it was a um, definitely a very very nice house in its day, but it's sad that it was sitting there unoccupied, you know. And um, that part there's a military base close to there, and our boss he actually flew. He flew the pipelines, and what that is, you fly the fly the the pipeline and look for leaks because you can see them in the air where you can't on the ground. So uh, I just sewed this ribbon on there. That and that was why I thought with those holes it needed something. So I put that ribbon there. <clears throat> so he flew the lines, and he would actually throw our per diem out the window, and I have fun running down and getting it you know picking it up but um with that military base there were bombers on the military base and them dang bombers they would use this as target practice well if you know anything about modern planes you don't hear them until they've already passed you usually so he would them bombers would peel off go up and i mean tell you it definitely make your heart skip a beat when one of those things goes past you. Uh, Shell put ruffles. I don't know. You showed that in the video, didn't you? No. Oh, well, anyway, Shell put ruffles in the book. Well, when I was looking for lace, I happened to come on this uh, ribbon, ruffled ribbon. So, I was, um, this is why I, it was bothering me. Uh, I got this to line up really nice, but if you see, there's a quarter of an inch. Well, the reason why there's a quarter of an inch, your squares are supposed to be sewn like that, and then see, it's not. So, 
um, I saw this ruffles and I thought about the first belly band the one I just completed and it just wasn't it didn't look right um, but then I saw this I thought you know what that would be perfect for that that area that I kind of want to cover up so I am going to glue those but we went in it was we um, and it was a lot of fun but in Colorado and it was just un like I said it was it was horribly hot just the heat was amazing and we got into Oklahoma and that was in the fall when we got there and it was unbelievably cold it was it was horribly cold there was snow on the ground and yeah it was way down I mean probably in the teens well we're walking it was about oh mile or two in Oklahoma and dad we, we were at the end I was at the end of a hundred foot tape measure so you would take a depth at every hundred foot see how deep the pipeline was and then write it down well dad stepped onto the road and all of a sudden you see him jumping on one leg and he's cussing up a storm and of course you know I'm and he had the snake hanging from his boot so being only 100 foot away I went dropped everything and I hauled butt to the truck and I got a shovel and it was a rattler luckily it didn't go into his skin it did go right into his heel and his and the fangs caught the heel of his boot thankfully it was it was pretty scary but um we got it and it was a pretty guys pretty good size rattler and luckily the 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 wonderful thing is is what happened is is it was so cold that the the rattler was so uh, slow because it was just so cold that he was didn't inject any venom and so that was it was scary you know you you don't you know you don't think about Oh, I'm going to step on the road in this freezing weather and there's going to be a rattlesnake there. And then, it was neat. We walked, a lot of the pipeline was over by the Santa Fe Trail. So we did get to walk on the Santa Fe Trail. And we did get to talk to some of the uh, ancestors from the pioneers. They lived there and... Uh, like in these canyons and stuff and we, it was so much fun we got to talk to them and that was awesome it really was okay I got that glued um, oh there's butterball um, man she's a pain in the butt so I'm gonna go ahead she like I she glued this for me so I didn't have to fiddle with it I've been having a hard time trying to grasp little things so she did that and I'm letting so it's dry and then the other belly band is this one and I didn't we didn't worry about sewing it I figured it would be okay um, I hate to I think I'm gonna have to use her fancy sewing machine I really don't want to because I really want to want to use my um, my old singer and I will on some of this but she made this and it was, should have been a square and she made it into a rectangle and I tell you what it's killing me but that's what she did so that's what's happening uh this one also on this one I have blue thread on my singer so I'm gonna sew this one this one uh probably I will sew um I think I'll probably sew the center with the blue and then I'll probably, I got my white thread that I normally use. I'll probably sew it on this. I'll probably lengthen my uh, stitches too on the, the two holy things. So let me, I'm going to let this one dry some more. I'm going to let this belly band dry. It's a, it feels like it's almost dry. Uh, I just don't, I don't know. I thought about sewing, uh, we had talked about sewing, uh, Oh, whatever you call it, zigzags. But, you know, I don't know. I really want to use my sewing machine. 
Uh, I have my stitch guide, so I'm going to take it off. I really don't need it right now. Uh, okay. I know I'm windy. Um, it was so funny. Um, we went... I mean, we were in everything. You had to go wherever that pipeline was, and if it was in a in a, a field pasture, pasture with bulls, that's just what you had to do. And uh, we were in a pasture, um, uh, and it wasn't there wasn't really any cows in it. It was just mainly just a field, but uh, it had a big old Rottweiler. And I kept, I kept watching him, just making sure he wasn't going to come after me. But I kept down, Dad, you got to hurry up, you got to hurry up, and let's get through this. And I wasn't paying much attention, and all of a sudden I felt this big, huge dog. He sat in front of me, and he leaned up against my legs and knocked me over. And it was funny because the owners were telling the, the gas uh, oil company that had to follow us, to, to get us into the the fields and everything that someone had stole his dog well no one stole that dumb dog um, he ended up going down the oil guy was waiting about a mile away and that he had his tailgate open that stupid dog jumped in his tailgate and he was just ready to go wherever so no one stole that dumb dog that dog was too friendly but he was a sweet dog and he followed us for a mile that's what would we had two crews so you would walk uh, each crew would walk a mile leave their truck for the other crew and then they would walk that mile and then we'd start at the next mile and would leave our truck for them so it was it was so much fun and that's how we got started into locating you know he he got a job here um in the town south of us i was in telluride and and truthfully it was a good job for i meant the job is was great and i i didn't live in telluride i lived in in the town that was about oh i don't know 30 miles or something away so i would drive to telluride every morning but it was uh so yeah it was a lot of fun and time, but I, sh I w wouldn't want to go back to it. Yeah, I, I just, I love it here where we live. The people are, it's just a good place to live. I got to take my driver's test tomorrow. Man, it drives me nuts all that, I think. Okay, I'm going to sew on this little supposedly square she put on there. I'm going to sew it on. It is she keeps yelling, it is square. It ain't square. <sighs> yeah, she woke up. She wasn't feeling very good when she woke up. She kind of slept on her arm and it was really, really sore. But she's feeling, you know, it's she rubbed it with my arthritis rub, so that's helping make it feel a little bit better. So I didn't backstitch this one. Uh, I figured since I'm doing this rectangle, I will uh, go back to my beginning thing. So maybe. To where the edges will come up a little bit, and that way they can fray. And I'll put my stitching in there, that way we don't have to worry about. Oh, one more stitch. Oh, that one. Yeah, I did that as a uh, intentionally. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I used my quilting ruler to cut all my stuff. She went and got a pair of scissors and started chopping. That doesn't have to be perfect. She keeps saying that, but I just, yeah. <laughs> I think it looks nice now. <laughs> oh, God, he's back. I might put a button in it after, <sighs> in the middle of that after it's uh, sewn to the page. Yeah, we, 
Uh, we've got buttons. Uh, Boy, do we have Oh, Lord, do we have buttons. So, uh, I don't know if you, if you haven't seen it. I'm using buttons from our uh, one haul. And Shell will link that video, video um, for you guys to watch if you haven't seen it. But when you see it, you'll understand. We got buttons up the wazoo. <laughs> so... I thought, well, I knew there were some really pretty buttons in there, so. Well, that don't look too bad. I did, so I sewed it, so now that will fray, so that would be perfect for the junk journal. Yeah. And I don't mean to be trying to make everything just that, just right, but, okay, I got the two fabric flips done. I wonder if I shouldn't go ahead and do the same thing. I think I will, real quick on this other one before I move on to the belly buttons. I just, uh, I don't know. I really didn't want to use her sewing machine. I wanted to try to keep it, oh Lord, the two boys are wound up now. I really wanted to keep it with my singer, so doing it this way, I won't have to zigzag. Oh. <laughs> they get, oh Lord. The siblings are horrible sometimes. They get so wound up and are jumping on everything. And, oh, it's... They, Sophia gets right in the middle of Yeah, and Sophia, the girl, she is... Mom always called her the tomboy, and she is. She, she is too... She's not afraid to kick their butts, and she always has been, even when she was a little girl. She would get in there, and she would wrestle the boys and throw them to the ground, and I mean, she'd kick their butts. So she's not afraid to tussle with them, so, but it's funny, but they, oh yeah, they can get too much to handle sometimes, Especially when but run over us. yeah, <laughs> when you get run over by a large cat like Sophia, yeah, it's not as fun as you may think it is. <laughs> I probably, there's this little piece of one that's sticking up, I'm going to cut that piece off, the edges. I know Shell probably will say, don't do that, but I, I yeah. You can do it however you want to, baby. Yeah, well, it's hanging over, and I don't know. I really enjoyed making the fabric flips. This is one of the, I don't know if you can see it, but this is one of the buttons we picked out for this one. And you said you're going to put some on the other one, you said? Probably one. Probably, she said, said she'll probably put another one on, on that. Um, the other fabric flip and we also have a very special closure for this and it actually all of it came from the belly the the button haul. haul so you know when we saw it it was like perfect we decided yeah we're gonna we're there gonna use it, that it's a leather and I covered it with oh I like that that's what you were talking about instead of sewing yeah but it was brown, and it wasn't going with it, so. Yeah, it was come off of a, I think they're called either a peacoat. It goes around a toggle button. But we didn't want that. That would be way too thick to even fit in the um, journal, so. It's on the outside, anyway. Well, yeah, like, well, it's on the outside, of course. But, I mean, that's very clunky having a... Um, toggle. toggle button on it, I think. Makes a lot more sense to do it this way. So, what do you think? Oh, perfect. So, yeah, that I sewed cool. around the square and then I'm going to cut this off because that little piece is going to drive me nuts. Yeah, you can certainly do that. There we go. And maybe, that piece yeah, I'm going to cut this piece <laughs> off. So, that's two done. At least my part. Do so. you want to go ahead and sew them onto the papers? Well, let me get these done first, okay. and then we'll go then from you'll there. Sew them all on. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. She don't know where the papers are. They're right here underneath my crap. <laughs> um, I think this will look really. Uh oh. Where's my other string at? There it is. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to sew this since this I had blue thread in there. I really wanted to. And I may, 
I haven't decided. I might just throw it all with blue thread, but I just think this there's one I part. Would. <laughs> she would. I know she would. But I think one part would look a lot better if it was solid white. So we'll see. Uh, it's no big deal um, about it. Why I try to say, you see, I think you could see it. Uh, the, the ruffle has a seam in the center. So I'm going to try to stay in that seam for the most part. I think this is going to be a, a tad bit different shade of blue, but I just think it will tie everything in so nice. So. Wanted to move there, so. I've had fun doing the videos. I've really enjoyed it, actually. I can't believe I'm actually saying that I enjoyed it. But. Oh, Lord. I hope that wasn't my tea. Nope. Butterball's making a... A mess is what she's doing, yeah. Oh, wow. Boy, that is almost identical. Cool. That's kind of what I was hoping for. I really didn't want it to stand out. I wanted the, the thread to blend in. So. Oh, this cat's, I tell you. But after this, I'm going to uh, try. No, you get your butt out of here. She, she has this thing. It drives me nuts for these uh, bobbins. bobbins. And uh, it just drives me nuts. You can give her them, and then she'll go and she'll try to steal one of the other ones. <laughs> one of mine, the steel ones. I don't like for her to have the steel ones because, I mean, those are for the singers. I get on to Shell. She's given them a given her a couple times, and I said, "No, you're not gonna give her those. Still, give her them dumb plastic things. Them things are a penny a dozen." So I'm gonna trim. Want to trim the edge of my ribbon so it doesn't hang over. I know Shell's got a. Um, well, actually, Shell's not doing it. I am since she volunteered me. She did too you. to sew it onto the paper and everything. She volunteered me. She can't say she didn't. See, did you hear her just sigh? She knows it's true. <laughs> I had just wanted it to. I actually just wanted to sew the ribbons and lace, but you know, since that was the part I started, I was really looking forward to finishing that. So that's okay. Um, she gave me the two things. Said, "Okay, do this, this, and that." Okay, I can do that. I'm a good husband. Gotta listen to her. We have a... So far, hopefully our week isn't going to be too busy. Like I said, I have to have that stupid driver's test tomorrow. So, gotta drive over and take it. At 8 o'clock. Yeah, at 8 o'clock. and It's about an hour and a few odd minutes to get there so oh, totally cow, an hour. I hope they it's not. It they didn't tell me how long it was so oh. we'll see did I not so oh that was stupid I sewed the same seam twice hey that's all right <laughs> I was thinking boy that sure didn't want to move People her. like it when we make mistakes okay well I you know what it was a mistake now it's really super strong instead of just a little bit strong Okay, <laughs> let me get this right now. I'm thinking, wait a minute. Well, that one was cut, and I'm thinking, why is that one cut? That one shouldn't have been cut. It almost matches that ribbon. You can barely cool. even see the seam, you know, the thread. I think that's a vintage. You kind of ribbon. looks like, oops, getting way out of my stitch there. 
Yeah, I think it's on a vintage roll. Yeah, so. I was. Yeah, I just wasn't happy with when I kept looking at. It, I kept thinking, I really don't like that extra quarter inch that you don't you only see in those spots. So this will make things a little bit. It will finish it off and it'll look look more finished. I think so. so I can do my back stitching. Okay. So I don't know what else she's planning on doing with this. I think this is it, but I'm not Yeah, I don't think I'm going to add anything sure. to that one. So let me... It's going to be pretty, though. Butter balls laying right behind my sewing machine. She was so needy yesterday. But, um, sorry, Sophia. If you don't know, I call Sophia Butterball because she's got a big belly. One time we were looking and I said, Oh, she looks like a stuffed turkey ready for butchering. So I said, A butterball. Yeah, she looks like a butterball <laughs> turkey, so that's how that came about. So, yeah. okay, uh, why is it? Oh, okay, that would be why. Okay, here's one of the belly bands. We're gonna end up having to trim, so I'll probably either um, put these two points right in the. Well, you don't edge. want them too much over here because then it might sew into the signature and you don't want it sewn into the signature. Oh, that's right because... So you want it to be further, yeah. Maybe right there? Yeah, like that. What do you want? Do you want a little bit of glue? Uh, I got it. I can... Because you, you can glue it down before you sew it like right. on the top and the bottom. Isn't he doing a great job? Well, I yes, just, yay, yay, we love him. <laughs> boy, some of the comments were funny. Clint is hilarious. Didn't say anything about me, did they? No. <laughs> All they want to do is talk about Clint, talk about you. Talk I about did you. not say that. She did too. Oh, good grief. You guys know I appreciate you guys. Oh, of course she loves you guys so much. Even if you don't say I'm doing a good job. <laughs> See, told you. You have ten percent left. Crap. Well, I am. I got. I guess oh, I got ten. Ten percent left. She said so. On my battery. Um. Okay. I'll let that dry. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Um. There's oh, I'm supposed to put in a fabric flip. So. Uh, I think with this one I'll go. I was thinking about using. Oh yeah, that's probably. Well, uh, well, this one has that, I don't know, just the colors of, I'm going to ring her neck. Honey, get that that cat, because she's trying to, I'm going to oh, kick so her you're butt. Bobbing. She stole it. <laughs> Butterball just stole my bobbin. Come here, honey. I tell you, I was showing, got her in that habit of playing with those dumb things. Well, so, I had to keep her entertained. I'm so sorry. about right here, honey? i sorry. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let me... You just want about a half inch from the okay. top. I'm going to let that just rest. You I can really... glue it if you want. So it doesn't shift. Oh, yeah, I didn't think... Yeah, I'm not used to doing this. This is her drum, not mine. I'm loving on Sophia. Yeah, she's loving on the butterball. She's such a neat girl. I just love that little girl, but she's... She's definitely a pain. There ain't no ways about that. <laughs> She's a pretty good little girl. She's a great little girl. I don't know if I'd go that far. Wouldn't be us if there wasn't cat hair. That's true, huh? So, let that sit for just a couple minutes. And, okay. So, I wanted to show you this. Well, I haven't shown you this part yet. So, we talked about the buttons. Um, Uh-oh. What? You're missing a button? I'm missing a button. I had all those buttons too. Oh, bummer. 
Okay, well, I'll look for it. <sighs> Sophia, it. did you still daddy? I button? bet she did. Let me see if it... Check that thing in there and make sure it wasn't stuck to the sticky thing. Oh, okay. Why don't you lay down right there? Okay, so... Uh, on this one, I think I might go ahead and do the fabric flip first on, oh. on the cover, maybe. Let me put it about right there. So... Um, no, I don't see it, hon. Dang it. There it is. Oh, good. Okay, <laughs> let me get this on there real quick. And then I'll set it to dry. Okay. So, that one's there. Then this one, the one I... Um, Did you sew that one yet? Oh, what? no, I got to sew the ribbon. I forgot, so. I'm Aren't going to sew the center, too, or no? Oh, yeah, I am. I plum forgot, so. Okay, just checking. <laughs> oh, I don't know my mind. So that's the way that this is going to look. So let me sew, finish sewing this one, um, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with the buttons on it. So, I don't know. I think I'll just sew it with, I don't know. get rid of my get rid of this stuff so sorry scatter brained like I said I gotta work on those ink blenders try get I did 11 I got 11 carbs so I'm not a hundred percent sure how many I'll get I'll get sanded today but I'm definitely gonna get them sand some sanded Definitely going to be ready to mail by the end of the week for sure. I made the the very uh, I made the wide fabric a little bit longer that way she was able to. Uh, okay, I do like that blue. I might take this one slow because I want to be kind of in the ditch of the piece square and for the blue ribbon that's in you can see through the holes I'm gonna lengthen my stitch before I start on that one it's not gonna be perfect like she said some of my squares are wanting to move a little bit but so one thing I like so much about having a hand crank sewing machine is I can take my time and, and, you know, I don't have to be hauling butt, you know, with the stitching. It's take it a little bit slower and try to get us in the right spot. And I know I'm not being too junk journalish, I don't think. <laughs> you know, I got to be me. I am who I am, and that's just the way it is, so... We're thinking about calling the channel the Rambling Crafter and then Not So Rambling Crafter. And, oh, Not So Quiet Quilter. Yeah, Not So Quiet Quilter. Sorry. That's what one of them had suggested. I thought it was funny. Rambling Crafter and the Not So Quiet Quilter. Boy, that's the a God's mouthful. honest truth there. Yeah, that's a mouthful. <laughs> oh, I like that. That looks really good. I don't know. I'm thinking about doing the same thing and doing the squares. I'll show it to Shell and see what she thinks. But that is so pretty. I oh, real... you can if you want to sew on them. Yeah, come here. Here, I'll show it to you real quick. <laughs> she doesn't have to get up. I, won't, I don't want to. That's it. okay. I'm feeling better. My pain pills and stuff oh. kicked in. God for pain pills. Yep. Ooh, that's pretty. It's up to you how much work you want to put into it. Well, I mean, I, I'm sorry, guys, if it's a long video, but I just want to do things right, and and I I did you those. You could sew that too, and then come back and show them how you sewed it. Yeah, later or when. Yeah. Or right. I can just do one and then yeah. we'll pause it. Yeah, do that, and then I can charge up okay. my thing while it's. She's okay. I'm gonna do one square. This is what I'm thinking, um, and. Her, her iPad thing is, that's what she uses to watch the video from the camera on. It's uh, almost, dead. almost dead. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you guys one. 
how I'm going to do this. I think that will look so nice. Wait, nice. And then the squares can fray, but it has the stitching to stop the fraying. I like that. I think that looks so nice. Kind of went, oh well. I was going to say I went over one too many stitches, but that doesn't matter. There we go. I think I did it again, didn't I? Yeah, that one I'm going to turn around. That's one too many. Too, too many, I think. Sorry. <laughs> I know. There we go. Now it's right on the edge of the square. That's right where I wanted it. So I'm going to sew this. Oh, wait. You know what? Let me backstitch that one since that's where I, I first stitched. There we go. That will make it stay. Oh, wow. I really like that. I think that looks really nice. appreciate you guys watching these videos and I really do okay you can kind of see it I oh, sewed nice. I sewed in the ditch of the where it's pieced and then I'm going to sew all the way around all the corners the, the squares and, then and these are actually real squares just so you know they're not oblong like shells are <laughs> so okay oh, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to finish sewing my squares Hi guys, it's Shell, and I am back by popular demand. <laughs> uh, Clint tagged me. He's really hurting right now, so he asked me if I would finish up the video, and I was hurting earlier, so I understand where he's coming from. So, I told him, of course I will. We don't have a whole lot more to do, so I'm going to glue this down, but I wanted to show you guys. So he finished sewing around each of the squares. Isn't that cute? Uh-oh, uh -oh, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Uh, off. <laughs> uh, TV came on. I think I didn't turn it off, did you? I turned, I paused oh. it. I don't know why I came Clint out. Clint paused it. Oh, it's probably been over an hour. Probably. Anyways, it's okay. Um, but yeah, I sewed on the buttons that we have again I will link a haul video below where you can see where we got our buttons and how many we have to choose from <laughs> oh yeah it was fun it was a really interesting haul. yeah haul <laughs> okay so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one on this is a belly band and it's gonna go here how pretty is that I love it wow isn't that nice? So I'm just going to go ahead and use Smart Glitter Glue. Again, anything that we use, for the most part, I try to link below. And we use a lot of things from Amazon. We'll also link the video of the, me doing the belly band for the first video. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll also link the um, video of him doing like the little squares and stuff, the first video part of the belly bands. So I'm going to set this one aside. I am going to add a um, button here. And Clint had some buttons set aside that we were looking at for other things. And I'll add that. But I'm going to sew it on first. But since this one should already be dry, I'm going to go ahead and sew that. And I'm just going to use his sewing machine since it's already out. And ready to go. Well, hi, Pars. So, if I can remember how to do this. How do you put the foot down? Behind it. Oh, there it is. Make sure it holds your string. <laughs> okay. I guess I don't need my foot pedestal. I tell you, it's been a while since I used this. <laughs> okay, I know I have to flip it. Yeah, I might just go back and forth just a few times just so that it, you know, is really 
good and sturdy. And then flip it again. I only said that popular demand thing because Clint told me to. Well, I thought it was good. <laughs> oh, you guys, I tell you. Okay, so I got that one. Let me lift that up. Yeah, it was funny. He's such a nut. I tell ya. I make life enjoyable, though. Yeah, he does. I tell ya. 20 years, and his dad was the same way. <laughs> Actually, his dad was worse. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, but they do make life fun, I tell ya. Okay, so... Do like one. Is that working? Nope. Hold on. I think I'm out of bobbin. Already? Okay, I'll be right back and we'll finish up. Okay, so we got the bobbin fixed. Go ahead and sew this real quick. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you bumped it? Yeah, I keep bumping it because. Mm -hmm, you do. Yeah, it is. Clint's eating chips in the background. It's fixing to go take a nap. Yes, I am. <laughs> Me and my little father go in the seat. Yeah, his little bit will go in there with him. But Bit only wants treats. We give our cats treats at night. And Clint started giving them to him for um, naps, too. But... <laughs> His little boy will go in the bedroom and then he'll he will um eat his treats and then leave. <laughs> he'll sit out the door and just meow and it's like shut up bit, lay down. Meow, meow, I want out. Yeah, so he's <laughs> good threat now. I ain't gonna let you in no more, but of course I end up letting him in a little stinker. Yep. Sometimes he'll stay in there and sleep, but I don't it might be part of it their conditioner's on too. Yeah, he doesn't really, in fact, at night and stuff, we have to turn off the air. Because this morning, Clint left the air on last night in the living room. Because it was so warm, you know. And this morning, there was nobody in the living room. None of the cats. They didn't really care for that. So, okay. Uh, I'll probably trim off the corners. But I'm going to see. You think I should? I don't think it matters. Let's just see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sew this really quick. Like I said to me, I'll, it kind of makes it a little good for journalists having that. Oh, Michelle. You have to hold on to your top thread. top thread or else it'll come undone. You know, you get used to using your mechanical one, electric. And then you have to kind of readjust to <laughs> the other one. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see, where do I want the... Yeah, let's put it here, I guess. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that thread. I don't know why I just took my shoe off. <laughs> I always take my shoe off to do the paddle pedal of the um, electric sewing machine <laughs> and I just took my shoe off even though I'm not using yeah I don't know man I just didn't I didn't want to use it I really didn't well it's not bad. necessary I think it turned out really pretty I'm pretty happy with the way oh yeah I think it's turned out really nice and then I'm just going to back space because it's um that locks it in. Okay, and then we just have the other one to put together to sew. So here's this one. That looks nice. It looks, looks really nice. And we move to the next one. She'll print that one while I'm sewing this one. 
Oh, I like it. That looks nice. Huh? Doesn't that look nice? I like it. Good. Yeah. You made it a little bit too close to the edge, but other than that, it looks really good. Oh, good grief. I know. Shut up, hon. Shut up. I wouldn't tell you to shut up. You would too. Nicely. Nicely. Like, oh, shut up. Yeah, that. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you meanly, no, though. No, you wouldn't. Neither would I. <laughs> oh, I tell you guys. I don't think plants sew this on straight. <laughs> Probably not. Which one? That one? Yeah. Got a little bit. Sorry, I have to give him a hard time. Wobbly there. <laughs> kind of hard not to be wobbly with this sewing machine. It, it does a take a little bit do of... It with one hand, than it, than you think. Yeah, it does take a little bit of... It's a little... It's definitely different. Thinking and... Well, it does. It takes you... It's a little different when you have to crank and hold with one hand. This one is so cool, though. I love this belly band. Didn't he do a great job? You. So, I and then... Yeah, I took him forever to find buttons. We looked for two days... I don't know if we go it that long, but it long. sure felt like Probably it. About an hour. <laughs> well, you find the right button, but then you're trying to find a match, and it's like, gee, you Well, we were going to put five buttons on it, but we decided just to put the three so that I didn't have to sew this button on after the fact. So, that worked pretty well. That one. Yeah, it's really pretty. Very, very nice. I told him I didn't get the buttons very straight, and he says, well, that's what makes it a junk journal. <laughs> I'm trying to teach him, guys. Uh, I heard him telling you guys about his dad and all the fun they have. I don't have any fun stories like that. I didn't spend much, much time with my dad growing up. No, but boy, Pa, she loved you. Yeah. One of these days, I'll have to tell you a story about his dad. <laughs> when we got married. I'll tell them later. That way they don't have to... No. Well, I might tell that one eventually. No, when we first got married. Oh, yeah. Talking to your mom. But I know this has been a long one. I told you guys he's long-winded. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know some people don't like that because we are getting thumbs down and stuff, but you know what? It's our channel, and if he wants to talk, I don't mind him talking. Well, can't wait and, to watch it. Find another channel. Exactly. Yeah, well, and then we have people who are like, I love to just sit and talk, you know, and... And if it's too long, fast, fast forward. forward. <laughs> it ain't that hard to understand. Yeah, but we've had several people on recently who said, you know, you need to stay on track. And, oh, well. But, you know what? I figure we could stay on track and, like somebody says, do the robotic. Well, come here. Do the robotic videos, but they like it how we do it. So, oh, honey. you know, and I figure I can't please everybody. So, that's just the way we're well, going to do it. Just be. the way we want to. So, sorry if it's annoying. So, okay, here, and we got this one. This little guy is talking to him. He's ready to go take a nap. He always does that when he's ready to take a nap. So, this is a fabric flip. That one's cute. Let me kind of move this out of the way. I think we're done. We're done here. So, we have the fabric flip here, and then we have the belly band here. Isn't that beautiful? I love that belly band. That is so awesome. He spent a lot more time than, you know, I typically <laughs> spend on belly bands or, you know, fabric pieces. But I want him to have fun and do what he wants to do. And he loves to do stuff with fabric and, you know, that's quite alright with me. I like it that we're kind of making these together, so... It's fun, isn't it? It is fun. Well, so, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate you guys.
please give this video a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. It helps out our channel. And be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We really appreciate that. Uh, we are going to start a giveaway once we hit 4,000. And I'm kind of getting some, you know, stuff in, um, set aside for that. So, uh, but yeah, and then here's this. So, we got, we are going really fast to 4,000. We're getting like 25 to 30 or more subscribers a day right now. Thank God, that's awesome. So, that's really cool. And, like I said, I need to get rid of a bunch of supplies and stuff that I have. So, we'll be having a pretty good giveaway. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure and follow along. Hit that bell down below. We really appreciate that. And follow along with us. And we will see you guys in the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. See you soon. Take care.